I don't write unit tests. We don't need this. Does anybody write unit tests? For the record, I know how to write unit tests and I wrote unit tests at my jobs and everything. Only for work. I guess, yeah, I should have asked for like personal projects. Do you write unit tests? I'm not saying they're useless. Useless. There are probably parts of this code base that I should have unit tests for because it's just complicated and stuff. But for 99% of this stuff, I can just manually test it once and I know it's not going to like affect other parts of the code base unless like your code is super like tightly coupled where one change will like break 10 other parts. You don't always need unit tests. Like I could have wrote comprehensive unit tests for this project. It would have wasted hundreds of hours of time. And I don't think I would have gotten a lot of gain out of it, at least in this particular case. In general, though, like for big projects, production projects where you know that you might leave the job and somebody else has to take over and like maintain the project. Yeah, unit tests are 100% required. This project, I'm always going to know everything about the code base. Even now, looking at it, I haven't worked on it in a while. I haven't touched most of this code in 18 months ago is when I first wrote this. And I'm pretty easily able to just look at it and understand it. Yeah, I guess Copilot would be a pretty good way to just automate the unit tests. Even then, maintaining unit tests is also time consuming. Even if you write the unit tests, if you change the code, then you got to redo the unit tests. It's more of like a hurdle than it is helpful. I mean, I'm not complaining about the way they did things at Google because they did things in a smart way. Everything was super automated, but there was just so much testing, dude, especially for front end stuff. There was unit tests, integration tests, benchmark tests and even screenshot tests obviously those were pretty easy though yeah i mean writing unit tests in angular at least the way at google was awful it was just awful